Tuesday. Yesterday, we did circuit style stuff, and our cardio was built in to our circuit. Today, we are going to be doing our more traditional workout with uh, two reps of each exercise or two sets of each exercise. Uh, and we're gonna do our cardio rounds in between a number of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the Instagram. So we're all going. Um, grab your water, grab your bam. Um, and we're gonna have a great workout. I hope everyone's having a nice week so far. For some reason in my mind, today is definitely Wednesday, not Tuesday, but here we are. Um, so let's go ahead, get everything going. We're going to start with some stretches for the upper body, open everything up, and then we'll get into more of our strength-based stuff. Go ahead and hop on up to stand. Cycles are going. Um, take your left arm across the body, and let's draw some circles to open up the right shoulder. So leading with the thumb, reach up, rotate, pink your finger back all the way around and through. And as I do these, I wanna do my best to keep my body from moving, so I'm isolating the movement at the shoulder joint. Good, I think three more. Awesome, and last one. And moving into the other arm, right arm across the body, left arm leading with the thumb all the way up. Pinky finger rotates back and we back stroke through. You go up, fully extending from the fingertips, pinky finger back and bring it through. Let's take three more. Okay. And last one. All right, so starting to roll the shoulders out, getting some movement in there. One more thing, just to warm up the upper body before we jump into more of our strength-based stuff. Take your arms into the cactus or the uh, scarecrow shape and press your elbows back behind you as much as you can. So creating space across the chest, once you're here, keep pressing the elbows back, reach the fingertips up as straight down with the arms as much as you can. And then bend the elbows, bring them back down. So I'm actively pulling my arms behind my body the whole time I'm doing this. I'm reaching up, arms behind the ears, straighten out as much as you can, and pull them back down. Last three. Good, making sure that the spine is not bending. We're isolating the movement only for the arms. Two. Last one. And let's start diving into our upper body strength-based work. Cycles are pumping. We're starting with upward wrist curls. Pull the shoulders down, extend your fists away from your shoulders. We have 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Upward wrist curls, here we go. And the whole time you're doing this, I want you to keep your arms really straight, using the muscles of the forearms to get the knuckles as high up towards your wrist as you can. Good. Nice posture, tall spine. And for this first set, we're going a nice, easy pace. So nothing too crazy. We have a second set. Good, last 15. We have 40 second intervals today for our work and about 20 seconds rest in between. Good, last six. We have four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, give the wrist some movement. All right. For this next set, should you choose to move faster, now is your chance. Make this, pull the shoulders away. Next 40 seconds, go as fast as you can. Here we go, a little lift, up, 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 up. Nice. Good. And sometimes, if you want, when we're doing these, if you have the balance or you wanna try it, you can try doing these, say, standing on one foot. 
So we can practice balance anywhere, even while we're working the forearm. Good, half done. Maybe switch to the other foot. Keep those muscles of the arms really active though. That's our focus here. All right, 10, all out. Up, 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 up. Yes, lift, lift. Six, five, four, woo, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Draw some circles with the wrist to release. Our next exercise, we're coming down to the mat for tricep work. We're going hand to foot. So I come on to my kind of crab or supported bridge position. You either go hand to knee or even better, hand to foot. Okay, so go ahead and make your way down, butts off the floor. We're gonna start in four, three, two, and one. Either hand to knee or hand to foot. We have two sets. So the first one, I'd say get used to the movement. And the second one is when you can really explore going faster. Awesome job, Instagram, great Zoom. Yes, and the goal here is to keep your butt off the floor the entire time. Good. I love it. We are half done. Last 15 seconds. Good. See if you can do four more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Give the wrist a release. Those are great. The most important thing here is using the muscles of the triceps to keep your body up and using that strength to control your body. So not flopping around, really keeping the moves controlled and precise. Let's set up for our second set. Butts off the floor. We're going in three two, and one, either hand to knee tap or hand to toe tap or the tricep. And you can make these harder by continuing to press your hips, your butt even higher off the ground. Awesome. And by all means, if you're feeling good here, go ahead and speed it up. Half done. After this, we're going to give the wrist a rest with some bicep curls, and then we're going to come back down to the floor. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up either onto the knees or to stand. Good old fashioned bicep curls is the next exercise on our agenda. Pull the elbows into the midline of the body, make fists. I want you to imagine that you're squeezing something, maybe those little stress balls, the entire time we do this. So I'm not just letting my fingers relax. I'm actively making fists, pulling the elbows in. First 40 seconds, nice and slow. I curl up and down. Squeeze, contract up and down. Work into it. Uh, great. Nice. See if you can move even more slowly. Why not? Controlling those muscles. So the slower movements with the bands are how we build bigger muscles, slightly bulkier muscles. And the faster movements are how we build leaner muscles. So whatever your intent is, just try doing both so just so you can see how it feels. The first set we're going slow. The second one will go fast. Okay. I personally like the slower movements. The best is me. Last 10, and five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. All right, this next set, for the sake of experimentation, even if you've done it before, let's try and move a little bit faster. So before the pace would say one, two, one, two. This time let's try and go one, two, one, two, or even faster if you can. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Here we go. Up, up, curl it in, in. Awesome. After this, we're coming back down to the floor for two more exercises. We'll get our heart rate up 
and then we'll keep grooving with the legs. Good, pump, pump, pump. Let me see some speed, get it going. Now, as I'm doing this, my spine is not moving. It is only my arms, so I'm not in any way compensating. So see if you can grow a little bit taller, engage your core. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, keep up, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. All right. Coming down to the floor, to my forearms. It is a forearm plank. Walk out, walk in. So I'm in forearm plank. We're also firing up the core here. I walk my hand, arm out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. The rest of my body does not move. So let's make our way down into our forearms, starting with the elbows underneath the shoulders. Good. Go ahead and walk yourself back into forearm plank. And we're starting in three, two, and one. So right arm out, left arm out, right arm in, left arm in. Out, out, in, in. That's the stuff, 40 seconds. You can pick your pace, but try not to stop the whole time you do it. Okay. And this one's a core killer because your core has to work to keep your body stable there while the shoulders, the chest are also working to stabilize. Awesome. It's harder than it looks. Half done. Woo, try and keep your body so stable. Don't let it rock and roll. These look great, gang. Last 10. Give me four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, make your way onto your hands. Take a shoulder stretch, walk the hands forward, let the chest fall down towards the floor. Now I want my arms extended so long that my elbows are hovering off the ground the whole time. Great. Start to drop the forearms down to the floor. Walk your feet back into plank position. Second set, ready, set, here we go. I go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Doing your best not to let your body wobble. Good, nice tie. Making sure that our hips stay even with our shoulders the whole time. We wanna try not to pike our butt up. Jeff's yes, outside today. It looks lovely. <laughs> Good. Nice, Bonnie. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. Good. See if you can walk those arms out a little bit further away from the body. Challenge yourself even more. Last 10. We're coming down in four, three, two, and rest. Drop your knees. Make your way onto your hands. Couple rounds of cat-cow to release the spine. And then we're gonna do our last upper body exercise of the day. So as you inhale, lift chest, lift tailbone. Drop the belly towards the floor. As you exhale, pull the navel in, round out. Inhale, lift chest and tailbone, arching the back. Exhale, round the spine. Take two or three more. Just using that breath to get a little bit deeper into the spine stretch. Spines need stretching, just like anything else. Good. And we'll meet with a flat back. Our last exercise for the upper body is a plank row. So there's two variations of how you can do this. I'll demonstrate the first and then I'll demonstrate the second. So the first one is I step back into plank. I lift back of the hand to shoulder up. Up. My elbow shoots straight back behind me. Up and up. If you want an extra challenge, lift alternating limbs. Up, up. Okay? Your choice. Make your way into plank. 40 seconds. We're going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Either just the hands or alternating limbs. If you're doing the alternating limbs, you're going to want to move a little bit more slowly. Nice job, Instagram. Awesome job, Zoom. Yes. 
Now, as we're doing this, especially if you're doing hands only, thinking about the muscles of your back and using those muscles to help lift the arms up for you. Good, nice, Jim. Last 15. Yeah, Lily. Good. All right, I wanna see six more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the wrist a roll. I saw some folks doing the alternating limb stuff. That was really cool. It's not easy. All right, second set. We're coming down in four, three, two. Make your way into plank, second set. Either back of the hand to the shoulders, rowing up, or alternating limb lift. Same thing with the upper body. We're just adding that lower body work in there to add some extra weight to the supporting arm. Awesome. After this, we're going to take a quick water break, get our heart rate up, and then swap out our bands and have the question of the day. Yes, last 10. Get it, Kayleen. Good. Give me six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop on up. Grab a quick sip of water. Just a sip, not a gulp, please, because we're going to get our heart rate up. While you have your sip of water, I'm going to show you our three moves to boost the heart rate. The first one is a overhead clap jack. I clap, clap each time I jump into my jack. Why does this matter? It's really good for shoulder mobility. I oftentimes see when people lift their arms up and overhead, they bend their elbows. So clap jacks help us to encourage our arms to stay straight. Next up, we have side to side jumps. I take my hands to my elbows, bend my knees. Keeping my arms forward, I work side to side. Last up, we have good old-fashioned high knees, or you can just run it out either way, okay? So first up, we're going to start with clap jack, set down your water, make your way over to your workspace. We're going in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds, clap jacks. Now, I can't hear that clap, but I want to see it. There we go. If you want to go faster than me, by all means, get after it. You can go fast. Good. Last seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to elbows, knees side to side. Keep that upper body still, working into the lower body. What the heck are we doing here? Well, we're jumping, which is good for bone density. We're also releasing our spine and strengthening our core and getting our heart rate up. Last 10, then we're running it out high knees. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Run it out. Get those knees up. 30 more seconds, sprint home. Last upper body work, let's go. Awesome, half done. All right, last 10, bring it home. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, gang. Let's swap out our bands, arms for legs. Take another sip of water if you want one. The question of the day is, and Instagram, feel free to comment in the, in the chat. Who is your personal hero and why? That is our question of the day. Ponder, contemplate, unmute. You can either tell me or throw your answers in the chat while we swap out our bands. Who is your personal hero and why? There are no wrong answers. All right. And I know I say this a lot, but especially because we're in the hot summer months now, Please make sure not only to hydrate during our workout, but also before and after. I know I am prone to dizziness, and the best way to mitigate dizziness is just drink water. All right. Get those bands going. Talk about our personal heroes in a moment. 
and then we'll get grooving on the legs. Starting with one of my favorite warm-up exercises, the greatest stretch ever. All right, what do we got? Steve says, John Doolittle, what this man has done and gone through is simply incredible and inspirational. He's not here so we can talk about him. <laughs> we'll make sure to tell him tomorrow how much we admire him. That's really sweet. And how lucky, Steve, that you can work with one of your personal heroes. Not everyone can say that. All right, I need like one or two more answers and then we can keep going. We gotta have heroes. I mean, even if it's like your grandma, cause she's awesome, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna call on people and then do it. All right, I'm gonna call on someone. Is Jeff. Jeff, personal hero. <laughs> All right, I'll go there. Uh, I'll go with uh, Dr. Joseph Mercola, who Stephen had an interview with a couple weeks ago. That's very cool. And uh, he, he really um, helped me take charge of my health and, you know, put it squarely on me. So it's a good uh, video to watch uh, if you want to see Stephen talk to Dr. Mercola about this stuff. I love that. Thanks, Jeff. Even though you didn't volunteer, thank you for... Uh, being put on the spot and doing so well. Bonnie said, my dad has always said that I can do anything I desire, run by passion. Oh, I love that. All right. Well, it looks like our heroes are some people that we know or kind of have heard of, know people that know. So that's really cool to have some, some really special influential people in our lives. We're definitely lucky. And on that note, let's take good care of our lives. Uh, by working on the legs. So we're going to start with a warm up for the legs as well. Uh, this is one of my favorite warm ups, the greatest stretch in the world. I did not coin the term, but I love it. So we're going to make our way down into plank position. I step my left foot outside my left hand, drop my left elbow down, reach, step back. I step right foot outside right hand, drop my elbow down, reach, and step back. So we're going to go ahead and do this for about a minute to thoroughly warm up the up or the lower body. So go ahead and jump down into plank position. Time's going. Feel free to follow me, or you can just jump in whenever you're ready. So I step one foot up, drop that forearm towards the floor, reach up, get into the spine, and then step back and switch sides. As you do this, I want you to really focus on getting your forearm down to the floor inside the foot that you've stepped up. So that way we can open up our hips, reaching up for that twist, and stepping on back. And something that can always help us in our practice is focus on how high you can get that foot outside your hand. We're actually gonna be doing a variation of this for one of our exercises later in our workout. So start to open the body up, get it used to doing this. Last 20 seconds. Greatest stretch in the world. And one more side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And hopefully as you went through that, go ahead and hop up to stand. You notice that it got easier and easier to do each of the moves. And if not, well then we should probably keep doing it another day. All right, working into the calves, first order of business. Noticing that the outer tubing on your bands is not parallel, it is hoisted slightly up. So adjusting if necessary. And we're keeping it simple for our calves today. We're just doing heel lifts up and down. Uh, a way to make it more challenging is to incorporate the arms. So you can start to reach your arms out. Even harder, you can reach your arms straight up. Now, if you're reaching your arms straight up, none of this, I want this, okay? So first 40 seconds, let's just jump right into it. Heels up and down. See if you can keep your heels off the floor the whole time. And my feet are parallel. Otherwise, I'm getting into my hips more. I really wanna get into my heels. Lift up. Good, speed is up to you, we've got two rounds. Oh my goodness, we're already half done. If you have your arms straight up, keep reaching your fingertips away from the body. The fingertips and heels are going in opposite directions. Good, last 10. We're gonna meet with our heels lifted and work into it in five, four, three, and two. Lift your heels up, little pulses at the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 
Kick it out, shake it out. All right, next, next set. If you want something even harder with the arms, just because it's that kind of day, clasp your hands, press the base of your palms away from your body. So I'm not just holding my hands up, I'm pushing my hands up. Last set, ready? And let's go for it, 40 seconds. Now, if you have your palms clasped, you might notice that you're starting to arch your back. Keep your shoulders in line with your hips. Lift, lift. That's it. Good. Aren't letting our heels touch the floor. Great. Good time to practice balance and focus, looking at one spot to help us keep our balance. Last 15. We're going to hold at the top. 10. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, hold at the top, release your arms down by your sides. Three times, keeping your heels up, drop your butt down. Rise up to stand, don't let your heels fall. Two more, drop your butt down. Rise up to stand, don't let your heels touch. Last one, drop your butt down, low as you can go. Pulse it here, a little lift with the heels higher. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Good job. Kick it out. All right. Let's get our heart rate up. Overhead clap jack. 30 seconds in four, three, two, let's go. Awesome. Good, half done. Get those arms all the way up, big clap up and overhead. Then we're coming into our side to side twist jump. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Grab opposite elbow, bend the knees. Here we go, side to side. See how far over you can jump. Get those hips moving. It's like we're skiing. We'll call these ski jumps. Good. Bringing those hips around. Last 10. And we have our high knees running it up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Run it out. Get those knees up. Go for sprint. Nice. All right, last 10, all up, go, go, go. Give me everything you've got, nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, grab water. Next exercise is for strength and stability. We're going curtsy, lunge, knee drops. So yesterday we did some ice skaters, variation of this. Today we're going deep strength. So I find my left foot, I step it back behind me. Now notice that my right knee wants to splay open. Try and pull it in towards the midline of the body. Now I drop that back knee down and hover, down and up. Now the shorter your range of motion, the harder it is. So let's set up together. Find your left leg, step it over to the side. Drop that back knee down, lift, down, lift. Try not to straighten the front leg the whole time. So keeping a bend the whole way. 40 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Down, hover, down, hover. Keep it low, keep it small. And the more you can squeeze your hips and your glutes, those are the muscles that we're really working here. They'll help you feel more contained and less kind of like wobbly and flowy. Good. If you want more of a challenge, step the left foot over to the right even more. The muscles will have to work even harder not to flop over to one side. Great. Good, see if you can shorten that range of motion even smaller. Maybe it's down an inch, up an inch. Yes, last 15 seconds. Burn it out. Deceiving me hard. Good. Give me six, five, four, keep moving, three, 
two, and one. Let's go right to the other leg. Find your right leg. Step it over to the left. Drop that back knee down. Curtsy lunge, pull, 40 seconds. We're going. Now find your front knee. Don't let it go haywire. Pull it in. Squeeze. Squeeze. Even your core contracting everything down and up. Baby movement. Good. I see some swaying and moving. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Half done. Try not to let the front leg straighten. I know you can do it. Try and keep even a little bend in the back knee the whole time. Last 15 seconds. We're going to take a quick rest before our second set. We always do. Give me 10. Keep up with the pace. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Feel free to grab water, kick the legs out. All right, so toasted in Santa Monica, I'm staying hydrated. All right, let's go right back into the first side. Find your left leg. Step it over to the right. Bend into the front knee. Bend into the back knee. Let's go. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Pulse it. Squeeze it. That's it. And making sure that our spine stays straight. We are not flopping over our legs. You got it, Ty. That's it. There's always those moves that are easy for some people and harder for others. That's why we do a variety of moves. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Bring it home. Get that knee so close to the ground that you're almost touching, but don't let it touch. And then lift it up one inch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs right to the other side. Step the right leg over to the left. Time is rolling. This is a great way to build hip and glute strength just by using the weight of our own body. Our legs are very used to walking in one plane of motion. We walk forward. Sometimes I guess we walk backwards. But splaying our legs out to the side is a slightly foreign concept to our bodies. We don't do it a lot. So as soon as we add weight to that, our legs are like, what the heck is happening? That's why it's important to do. So last 15 seconds. Get that back knee down. Even more, even more. There we go. Seven, six, keep pulsing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now that was a lot of hip work. Step your legs wide, circle it out. And another direction. And back to center. Let's get our heart rate up. We're getting our heart rate up three times with the lower body. This is our second one. Clap jacks in five, four, three, and two. Here we go. 30 seconds. Everybody put your hands up. Cause it's Tuesday. <laughs> That's it. Double time. <laughs> Last 10. Then we got our ski jumps, our newly deemed ski jumps. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to elbows, ski it out. And when you're skiing, you always want to look at the line that you want to ski. So in this instance, we're looking forward as our hips and our core and our spine from side to side. Get those hips over even farther. There we go. Last 10, double time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and run it out. Knees up, chest up, arms are grooving. Yeah, I feel that heart working to support you as you work to support it. Awesome. All right, we're going full sprint in four, three, two, all in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and whew, grab water. All right, next up is an exercise that does involve being on your knees. If you are, on, if you are outside or on a surface that is particularly hard, simple solution number one, double up your mat. Solution number two, I'll give you another exercise, okay? So it is a prisoner knees to squat, prisoner. Boom, my hands are behind my head. I'm on my knees. Now, keeping your body as low as you can, your head's gonna wanna bob, try not to let it. I step up into squat. Down, down. If it's too much on your knees, totally cool. Do air squats instead, okay? Whichever variation you're doing, I want your heels in squat to be down the whole time. I'm not coming up like this, okay? So go ahead and make your way onto your knees or up to stand if you're doing air squats. Hands behind the head. Try and keep the body stable. We're going in three, two, and one. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. That's it. Don't let your body move. Nice. Now notice if you're doing the air squats, if you're starting to round out your spine, keep the chest up. Good correction. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Now it's really hard here not to bobble up and down. Stay low. Use your muscles. Allow your body to work for you. Good. Keep going, keep going. Give me 10. Whichever variation you're doing, move fast. A little bit quicker now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody up to stand. Couple butt kicks, release the quads, that main muscle that we're working. All right, if you're doing prisoner squats, make your way back down onto your knees. Regardless of which squats you're doing, hands behind your head. We're going in three, two, and one. Up, up, down, down. If you move slower than I do, but you're able to keep your body stable, awesome. That's all I care about is that I'm not bobbing up and down. I'm staying low. Great. Got Instagram going. Got Zoom going. Good, whichever variation you're doing, elbows back. None of this, no slouching. Stay tall, stay proud. Own that squat, even if you are a prisoner squat. Last 15 seconds. Oh, Sophia and Sydney, awesome, amazing. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get our heart rate up for the last time with our leg bands and we're gonna have a sip of water and we've got two more lower body exercises before we go into core time. All right, 30 seconds, overhead clap jack. Ready, set, let's go. Get those arms all the way up, find contact with your hands. If you can breathe in and out of your nose, do it. Oftentimes when you see me smiling, that's how I'm breathing. It helps me regulate my breath. So my body doesn't get super flustered. Great. Regulating that heart. Last 10. And we're coming into ski jump. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to elbows, losing my stuff. Ski it side to side, let's go. Right. Maybe you can go even lower. Why not? Half done. Bigger bend in the knees. Come on. We're getting low. We're skiing over those moguls. Big old bumps. Go to the ground. Stay safe. Ten. Last six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. High knees. Let's go. Run it out. Whew. Running into the home stretch. 
Get those knees up, get those knees up. No slouching down, use your core. If you're not sweating by now, run even faster. 10 seconds sprint, here we go. We have nine, eight, seven, six. Bring it home, four, three, two, and one. Water all around. All right. This next one is a new exercise. We are taking a moment to rest first. Take your moment, and then we'll demonstrate. It is called a bear fire hydrant, and it's hard. <laughs> so for these ones, we come into a bear position. I'll demonstrate, and then we'll start off together first. I lift my knees up. I lift alternating legs up, center, up. Center. Now, as I'm doing this, notice that my elbows are not bending. My arms stay straight. Only the alternating leg is lifting out to the side. So, no compensating. If you can't do it with your knees hovered, do it on your knees. So, let's all make our way down. And I don't expect you to move fast, but I do want you to try and get your leg as high up as you can, squeezing your outer hip and your glutes, so the same muscles we use for those curtsy lunges. All right, lifting your knees up. We're going in three, two, and one. Come into bear position. Lift the leg. Set it down. Other side. Set it down. Now we can see why these are called fire hydrants. That's the work. Do the best you can. Now making sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders. We don't want to have our arms hitched too far forward. Awesome correction. Good. And the last thing I'm going to yell at you guys about is notice if your hips are starting to pike up back behind you, keep your back flat the whole time. So keep the knees hovered. So we're also working into our quads. Our hamstrings are working because our knees are bent. This really is an entire lower body exercise last 15 seconds. Perfect opportunity to breathe through the nose, regulate it. Great, Jim. Oh my goodness. Good. Seven. Six, keep those arms strong. Five, four, three, two, and drop the knees. Once you're here, big hip circles around to the left. Release the hips. Sometimes my hips tend to pop and crack here. If you experience the same, you're going to make it through it. I promise. It's normal. Good. Circle around to the right. Other way. Come back through center. Tuck your toes. Ready, set, last set. Up, down, up, down. Arms are strong. The only thing moving is the leg out to the side. After this, we have one more exercise. Good. Half done. If you need to hold and hover in bear, try and do that. Do whatever you can do not to drop your knees. Work through it. Amazing. Last 10. Bring it home. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Stay on your, stay on your knees. Drop them. Walk your hands back towards your knees. Drop your butt down. If you can, lift your butt off your heels. So whichever variation you're in, we're getting a quad stretch. So our last exercise for the legs of the day, we're going to be on our hands again. Sorry to do back-to-backs on the hands. It's just the way the cookie crumbled today. So when we did the greatest stretch in the world, we practiced stepping alternate foot up to hand. Now, we're going to work into that with what's called alternating plank lunge. So I'm in plank. I set my foot up, switch, switch, switch. I'm going side to side, okay? And I want you to get your feet, the sole of your foot, in contact with the ground, getting up as high as you can, up, 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 okay? So make your way into plank. First 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's groove. Heart rate's gonna elevate. It's okay to take them slow. What matters here is finding contact with the sole of your foot and the ground and getting that foot as high up as you can. Awesome tie. 
Good. Now we want to keep the upper body as still as possible. So we're not shifting and rocking. Only the legs are doing the work. So we're squeezing out our edges, hips. Jim. Yes. Perfect, Bonnie. George, I can see you bobbing around, not your whole body, but I know that you're not bobbing around a lot, so you must be doing it right. Good, last 15 seconds. If you feel comfortable picking up the pace now, you can, but if you have a good thing going, just keep going. Good, let me see six more. Mm -hmm. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Good. That's it. One more time. Roll them out. Step back into plank. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Let's bring it home. Last big one of the day, then we're going to move on to core. Oh, man, Jim is flying. Good. Yes, Kayleen. Sophie and Sydney looks good. I see you guys, everyone who's on video, you are all controlling your bodies in a way that is amazing. It's really good. That's what we want. The ability to control our own body weight enough to get our foot high up towards our hands. So our arms are working, our core is working, our hips are working. Last 10 seconds. Bring it home. Yes. Good. Give me four more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Make your way down to sit. Take a quick hamstring stretch. Release everything. For our core today, First 30 seconds is straight leg bicycle. The alternating leg is not on the floor, it's hovered off the floor. So that's my first 30 seconds. My second 30 seconds are double leg lowers, making sure your spine stays rooted into the ground the whole time. And our last 30 seconds are fingers to toes, up, down, up, down, okay? Hands behind the head, lift your left leg up, Hover your right leg off the mat. 30 seconds, let's go. Straight leg bicycle, twist, twist. The pace is up to you. I determine the move, you get to pick how fast you wanna go. Great. Keep working through it. Straight leg bicycle, find contact with your elbow and knee. The purpose of this exercise is what? It's core. So are we flinging our limbs around or are we getting into our core? Five, four, three, two, and one. Both legs up, head down. Keep your low back pressed into the mat the whole time. Lower and lift, 30 seconds. Double leg lower. If you want a little extra, get your butt off the floor as you come up. After this, we have our hardest core move of the day, because of course we do it last, we're building up to it. Okay, last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Arms and legs reach in opposite directions. 30 seconds, bring everything up, everything down. Everything up, everything down. Yes, bring it home. called V-Ups. Oh, we're already half done. Yes, Kayleen, awesome. Oh, working fingertips towards toes. Give me one more good one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, rock side to side. Grab the backs of both sides. Active hamstring stretch, straighten the legs, bend the knees. Give me six, five, pull your knees in even more, four, three, two, 
and one. Now this is funky. Keep your legs up, open them up into a V shape, rock side to side. Keep pressing the ceiling or the sky away from you with the soles of your feet. Bring your legs together. Pull the knees into the chest. See if you can rock and roll up to sit. Better yet, see if you can rock and roll all the way up to stand. Make your way up. Spread the legs wide. Last stretches of the day. Big old bend to the left knee. Sink your butt down. Keep pressing your hips back. Good, back to center, big old bend to the right knee, pressing your butt back. My spine is straight, I'm not slouchy. Come back to center, reach your arms up as if you were doing a clap jack, and then bring your hands together one last time, round of applause. Good, good work. Today was Tuesday. It was an all over, all body, everything workout. Tomorrow, we're going to be exploring the balance a bit more. That's going to be our underlying theme of the day. Balance, one of my favorites. Thank Thanks, you. guys.